Hey guys, Kyle here, and today I will be showing you a mock that I've been working on for the past month, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are probably happy that this video is finally out, and that mock is the Batcave. So, anyways, I'm gonna go through it, and I'm gonna do the first half in a video, and then I will have some pictures, like a slideshow. So, anyways... First of all, to start off, I spent a total of 33-ish dollars on this, and it's one gray base plate, and I think it's about, let's see, it's about 20 bricks tall, and uh, I... I definitely like the way that it turned out. I had made a bat cave in the past, and it definitely it was nowhere near this good. And so I guess let's get to it. So over here is the bat suit chamber or area, and there's just steps up there. And I have the '60s bat suit, and I have the one from like. I don't really know what era that's supposed to be from, but it's the Batman from 2006, that one's from 2012. And over here is the training and weightlifting area. And there, there's a little weight rack. And then there's a bench press with a big weight. And over here there are some boxes some boxes and crates, and there's the bat ladder, which is from the 60s movie. It's a little, uh, little thing that I put in there for that. And then if we go over towards the right, there's the wall with the bat equipment and bat gear, and there's supposed to be, that's supposed to be a disruptor from Arkham City, and then there's some batarangs, and then on the workbench, he's working on the remote claw. And there's some tools right there, and some nuclear waste. Over here, well, over here, there is the bat boat, and a little bit of a river, and a pool. And under there, there's the waterfall, and there are some bats in this monk there. And there's one there, there in there. So, I guess we'll go up the stairs to the back computer, and the back computer actually lights up, and so does the platform for the Batmobile, and I'll show you that after, but, so over here is my custom Alfred, I just put a suit and a Professor Snape head, because I don't have the 2006 Alfred, but, so there's the railing, and then the back computer. Uh, oh, uh, the stairs, but there is a chair, and I don't think it is, but I bet you it's called the bat chair. I'm sure, I'm sure somewhere Batman's called something the bat chair. So now over here there is a nice walkway over to the Batmobile platform, and the Batmobile. I guess I'll just show you that. This is custom. So, yeah, not much to talk about there, but it's kind of a mix of the 80s Tim Burton Batmobile and the Batmobile from Arkham Asylum from the start. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of those, of the Arkham games. So, yeah. And now just to look at the platform without the Batmobile on it, and I think I'll just give you guys a look at some of the rock work that went into this, because there was a lot of that since it's a cave, so. So, yeah, anyways, I said that the lights do work, so I'll show you that now and then we'll go to the slideshow video, so I'm just going to say here, 
thank you guys so much for all the support with this mock, and it's, I think it turned out better than I was hoping for. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it, tell other people about this video just because of how much work this was, you know, tell friends, people that you know would like this, um, and I, I really appreciate all the support. If you like to see more mocks like this, don't forget to subscribe, as once again, that is really appreciated. So, yeah, I'll show you the lights, and then the slideshow, and the video will be over. Bye. Yeah, and so this is the mock with the lights. So that's the one for the back computer. And there is the bat, uh, the Batmobile platform. And there's a look from below. And then I'll look from up top. And take that mobile off. So that's all lit up. And now that that's done, I'll just go to the photo montage or slideshow or whatever. And then the video will be over. So, yeah. See you next video. Bye.